Now let's take you to Delta State where the governor, Ifang Okowa, says all is now set for the inauguration of the newly completed ultra modeled secretariat complex and the 8.5 megawatts independent power project by the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibaja, on Monday. The governor says this after inspecting preparations for the inauguration. We have details in this report. It is the last inspection before its inauguration on Monday. Governor Okoa wants to make sure nothing is left unattended to ahead of Mr. Vice President's visit to unveil this edifice. Yes, I'm impressed. Uh, in the first instance, uh, the sectoral complex is fully completed and ready for the commissioning. Uh, I went around to find out uh, the route quick, through quick we're taking Mr. Vice President, and I think that we're ready, truly, fully ready for tomorrow's commission. It's a complex that actually brings in all the best, and where all the ministries are truly uh, very closely knit and interconnected, and uh, you have conference rooms uh, and a whole lot of other facilities uh, that makes life livable. For Governor Okoa, it is part of his administration desire to ensure Deltans are given the best. Like most public infrastructure in Nigeria, maintenance is a big challenge which he hopes to address. He also talks about the independent power plant also built to be inaugurated. The plans are actually already in place uh, to have a full-fledged facility manager with other sub-managers. Uh, uh, taking charge of security, the cleanliness. The IPP project actually is designed to power the secretariat and all other government offices in the town, including the, gov uh, the government house. And um, we, we decided to go in that route because uh, we do not want any power disruptions. Uh, we want the government to be able to function seamlessly. Above all, we also think that uh, it's likely cost-effective. The Secretariat's complex, which sits on a 45,000 square meters, was designed to accommodate all ministries and their staff, and it is interconnected with facilities including a banking hall, restaurant, crèche, and a clinic which could serve as a mini-hospital. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.